6th of September 2018, Thursday. Okay, this, this video is meant to show the x-rays of the kidneys of the cat with stage 4 chronic kidney disease. There are other videos of this cat, but uh, this video is specifically to show the enlargement of the kidneys in, in this uh, cat. She has vomiting for 3 days and was thirsty. So, I did the palpation before x-ray and I could feel the kidneys being enlarged. The kidney was enlarged. The right and the left. <coughs> now, normally the right kidney is more forward. The left kidney is forward behind. So they were enlarged and uh, about a golf ball size or not a golf ball size and uh, they overlap. So now we see the x-rays. Now we see the x-rays of the side view first. So this is a side view. Okay, side view. Now the right kidney is normally more forward than the left kidney. So, so this area where they where they overlap, where they overlap is is the, the two kidneys. The cat can go off already. Go back. Already. So, let me show again. Okay, this is the right kidney, enlarged from here to around here. Then the left kidney is from here, enlarged. So in between, you see this is the overlap of the both kidneys. So this is not a, a kidney a abdominal tumor. So otherwise, you will be mistaken for an abdominal tumor. Now, so these two enlarged kidneys, they push down the intestine. As you can see, normally the intestine should be up here. And so this X-ray shows the stage four chronic kidney disease in a 13 year old cat. Now this is uh, backed up by evidence from the blood test. Eh? Now the one thing is the creatinine. Creatinine 1042 based on the this unit and is 12.9 based on the milligram per deciliter. Now the, any stage 4 chronic kidney disease the creatinine level will exceed 5 milligram per deciliter so you can see that this is definitely much higher so this uh, blood test results based on creatinine shows that the cat has stage 4 chronic kidney disease and also based on clinical signs and other factors like anemia low white cell count low platelets and of course high urea so this this uh, educational image for vet students to, to understand the, the x-rays of kidneys of kidney disease cat. Now, <coughs> if the kidneys are not enlarged, normally some people they do measure the, the, the length of the vertebra. Now, in, in a normal non-enlarged kidneys, normally you should occupy one, two, three. The three lengths, or at the most three and a half huh? in, in a cat. But you can see that uh, you can see that it is definitely from here, from here, okay, one vertebral length, two vertebral length, three vertebral length, and I would say <coughs> it's about four and a bit, four and a half, <coughs> four and a half vertebral length. <coughs> this is another in uh, another measurement, <coughs> not accurate, but definitely, and the pushing down of the intestinal loops. This definitely is an enlarged kidney. And so we will look at the other view. The other view is the ventral dorsal view. <coughs> now ventral dorsal view is clearer as you can see that the left kidney is enlarged. The right kidney is enlarged too. And and uh, <coughs> normally if you see the X-ray the kidney is not so thick. It might be about uh, two thirds of this size, I would say, two thirds or half of the 
especially old cats and they, they're not so enlarged. So definitely, this one is definitely more than uh, larger than normal. The normal kidney, I would say about 50% or 70% of what you see now. Now we look at the butipara again. And uh, one, two, three, four. Of a four, four butipara length. Normally it should be three. If it's three, then it should be one, two, three. So the kidney should be just this size. Three, three butipara length. As a general <coughs> guideline, so this 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 is a basically a video on the X-ray examination of chronic disease, kidney disease stage four. Now I'm looking at the come to see the blood test results. Now we need the blood test results to support the diagnosis. Now of course the blood test result, the main thing is is the creatinine level. Whatever whatever is is stated. The creatinine level is the one which, which is used huh, for, for the diagnosis. As you can see, uh, can, you can see from there? Mm. The creatinine level is really high, 1000 over. Normally it's 160 is a maximum. And then, of course, you convert it to milligram per deciliter, 12.5. 12.5, uh, 12.9. Mm. Normally it should be, f uh, maximum is 5. Huh? It should be up to 5. Up to 5 uh, milligram per deciliter. Anything exceeding 5 milligram is considered stage 4. Stage 4 is more than 5 milligram. Stage 4, chronic kidney disease. Okay. <coughs> then the other findings. <coughs> are incidental to the kidney disease. Like for example, you look at the anemia. Definitely there's anemia, low hemoglobin and red blood cell. Now the, the interesting thing, this one, the white blood cell is low as well. So I checked, it, I checked for the three viruses, which is in another video, the heartworm, heartworm and the two viruses, but uh, it's negative. Now you look at the platelets, now, playlist is very low as well. Huh? So, these are the findings incidental to kidney disease. <coughs> of course, in kidney disease, urea is always another factor to consider. It's very high. 72.5. 72.5. That means the cat, cat's kidneys are unable to filter up the urea. So, it causes the cat to be nauseated and to vomit and you can see that uh, that's why the cat loses weight and it's not eating because of the chronic kidney disease over time which the owner doesn't doesn't uh, notice now in, in, in this case the liver there's some disorder as well because it's definitely higher uh, 150 has considered compared to less than one point uh, 121 it 95 compared to less than 67. Now glucose level of course is high when the cat is sick. Huh? So this is not like any significance in the sense that it's, it's part of the illness, sickness. It's not uh, uh, because there's something wrong with the, with the pancreas. Okay, so I shall end now. And uh, this video is mainly to, to uh, educate vet students who are studying very hard for exams, the, a real case, a, a real case of a, a chronic kidney disease, stage 4 in a cat. The thing is that it's very hard to, uh, I mean it's time consuming to make such a video so you can see that most, most uh, best they don't, don't do it because it's too, too uh, much time involved. So I shall stop now, thanks.